Hey guys, welcome back to Is Your Six Covered and time for another upgrade on the Stoger 3000. Tell you what, the shotgun's been great. Added the Nordic tube, um, opened up the loading port, got a match saver, added my five cent upgrade for my charging handle, which is just a shell. Worked out really good. It's been working out great. But on the Stoger 3000, you'll see that the, uh, the front sight is really, really large and not very bright. So I'm going to a True Glow, and this is a, definitely an upgrade that's gonna help out a lot. The actual sight, and we'll get into it and I'll zoom in here, but you'll see that the sight is a lot smaller, more clear, and just a better field of view. So we'll zoom in here and get this going. All right, so here's the box, True Glow. Basically, the things I was looking for when I was purchasing one was I wanted a, a dot that was was green, first off. I prefer the green dot over the red. This one has a lot of availabilities depending on which firearm you're using. So let's get into this thing and show you what I'm talking about. Now this stuff's quite tiny, so you want to be very careful. Uh, and these are taped on there, which is good. But you'll see the the visibility of a green. It's nice and bright. It's a lot more defined than the other one. And I'll show you that, and we'll take it apart and change it out. And then you'll notice... A drastic difference we'll put them side by side so let's take this one off now this should turn off I'm using uh, this style wrench because it stays square and you're gonna see that the uh, the sights just kind of very dull it's very fat not as accurate if you're going to shoot like a slug. So you can see that the green dot is a lot more, uh, well first off it's a lot brighter. A little easier to see, a little easier to witness. So now what we'll need to do is find the correct thread for this shotgun, for the Stoger 3000. Comes with four different ones. <clears throat> And we'll just have to find the correct one. So you can see that covers up the whole thing with the metal. So that's glowing nice and bright. All right, so it's all done. It's completed. Um, had some technical difficulties trying to figure out which thread pitch and size it was. There is four of them. You'll see that the three millimeter has a thing in it, but it's actually, that's the one I ended up using. But over here, you'll also see that I had to use a caliber just to confirm size. I used the uh, tied, uh, the tap and die set to figure out threads using the gauges. And then I ran actually the three millimeter tap back through it just to kind of clean it out or something. For some reason I couldn't originally get the three millimeter in there um, I'm very I'm very pleased with how it came out it's nice and tight the uh, it's a smaller dot which I prefer and I also prefer how much brighter and um, how much it lights up over the stock red one this one was fine but with this one, I think I can shoot a little more accurate when I'm going to it, when I have to shoot slug. And with this one, just, uh, it didn't seem like it, it had the glow like a regular fiber optic. Something that's actually made for sights a little bit better. But let me see if I can show you guys this. Uh, let's see. So you can see it lights up really well. Other than that, we're good to go. 
try it out here next three in a match and see how she does. Definitely, uh, in my opinion, a lot nicer sight. So, if you guys are interested, the True Glow, it is difficult to uh, put on. I actually used a pair of um, nail clippers to grab the one thread so I could actually thread on the sight first. And then once I had something to actually grab onto, I could use the actual optic or the fiber part to actually screw it onto the barrel. But it worked out well. It's nice and cranked on. It looks nice and straight. And it's green. And I like green. So, see you guys. Stay tuned.